everyone! So tonight I wanted to film my monthly favorites for you guys. I kind of decided that I want to start doing monthly favorites. This way I stay on top of things. I don't know. But of course, we're already starting out the first monthly favorites in a fantastic way of being way late. But better late than never, I guess. I don't really know. Whatever. I'm doing it now, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to get right into it because I have... I wouldn't say I have a lot, but I do have... A decent number of favorites for you guys so I'm just going to start with the first my one. My first favorite is this Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Free Foundation Primer and I got this in a sample with a kit that I got last spring and I just started reusing this again and I gotta say I love this stuff. So I've been using this and I gotta say my makeup does not budge all day. Now I leave my house around 8 30 and I come home from my internship anywhere between 3 and 5 30 so I need it to last a decent amount of hours and I don't ever touch it up during the day so I gotta say this stuff is amazing and I do notice the lasting power of my foundation exponentially better with the use of this and then in conjunction with that lately I have been using hold on let me shake it up so it's not all crusty and weird I have been using my Naked Skin Foundation by Urban Decay. When this first released, I had to go to Sephora. I needed to buy it the day that it came out, and I used it for a little bit. Stopped using it for a while. I don't really know why. I just kind of stopped, and then I started using it again because I wanted something that would look like my skin but give me a fair amount of coverage so that I wouldn't need to pack on, like, concealer, powders, all that other kind of stuff. So I've been using this, and i got to say, I really do love it. kind of finish off the application of my face makeup. I have been loving this Real Techniques stippling brush. It's the smaller tipped one and it's dense without being too dense. So I really like putting this on and then just buffing in my foundation. I tend to have dry skin so when I use brushes a lot of times my skin looks flaky and peely and with this I don't know what magic powers this thing possesses but when I put this on the first time and I use it, I'm like, what is this dark sorcery? My face looks airbrushed and beautiful. And then for concealer, because I do tend to have some problem spots here and there, you know, who does it? I have recently bought the Conceal RX by Physicians Formula. Everyone and their mother started talking about this on YouTube, and I have been using the Benefit Boing for a really long time now, and it's been starting to run out and get kind of rank on me so I was like you know what I need new concealer I don't really want to spring the money on it right now so I was like you know what let me just go try this and this stuff is excellent I would say this pretty much compares to the Kat Von D tattoo concealer the only difference I would say is, is this one is a little bit more creamy so it's a little bit easier to work with it's not quite as thick and you have a little bit more time to work with it where it's not going to set the second you put it on your face you do have time to let it sit and then you can buff it out which is usually what I do with it but this is definitely a good drugstore buy I would recommend this to anybody they don't have very many shades available but I don't know if they have your shade I would say go for it. To kind of just set my makeup, I do love using a setting spray, and I've been using the Urban Decay All Nighter for, I would say, about two years now, and I feel like my face is starting to get used to it, and it just doesn't, I find it doesn't do what it used to do for me, so I went to MAC and I bought the Mini Fix Plus, and oh my god, I love this stuff. This is my new Holy Grail spray, of course, until this one stops working on my face, and then I have to go back to the Urban Decay one. But for the time being, I do love this. Everyone and their mother loves this. I'm a little late to the party, as always. Story of my life, whatever. But I have arrived. I love it, and I do recommend it if you haven't seen it, used it, whatever the case and may be. The last two products for face are both from my cheeks, and every day this month, since the first day of the month when I've done my makeup, I have used the Benefit Box Blush in Hervana. For me, this is a really pretty natural flush on my face, and I like that it's it's like a purpley, pinky, corally color. It's a nice middle ground in all of your basic blush colors, which I really do like. And I like that it's a natural flush. It doesn't move. It has a great staying power. I love these Benefit Box blushes. This is this MAC Cream Color Base in Hush. For me, this is an excellent highlighter. I don't use it as a base on my eye. The girl was telling me about that. I don't really know, but I use it just on the tips of my cheekbones, and I'm pretty sure in the last like couple tutorials that I've put up, or the ones that are coming, I don't know what I've posted yet, but I have used this, and it's a very nice sheen, kind of glow from within 
highlighter. It's not very sparkly. It's not very like bam in your face. It's just a nice subtle highlight to make you look glowy, dewy. And then for nails this month, even though it's not on my nails right now, I have been loving blues and especially Essie Aruba Blue. This is a beautiful, beautiful kind of ocean blue color is the best way I can describe it, Aruba Blue. Like when I think of a tropical island in the ocean, this is the color I think of. So this came out, I believe, with their summer collection. I'm sure you can still find it because Essie's pretty good about being able to find colors from past collections. I don't know because I'm pretty sure I bought this recently. I didn't buy it in the summer when it came out. But every time I wear this, I get so many compliments on it. Girls compliment me on it. Boys compliment me on it. Everybody notices and everyone's like, wow, that is such a pretty striking blue color. Scent of the month is... Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. This is, if I could pick one scent to wear for the rest of my life that sums up me, it's this scent. And I, every year for Christmas, I get a bottle of this. And last year, I had used up my bottle in, I'd say, September, October. So I'd been a couple months without it. And then my mom got me this, like, monster jumbo size of it. And I was like, oh my god, I need it. And I've been essentially drinking this stuff. But I do love it. It's such a sweet scent, and I do like sweeter scents. It's not very musky at all, like the Juicy Couture one. But, I mean, if sweet scents are your thing and you haven't tried this, I would say go and check this out and do a tester because this really does smell excellent. Now, that is pretty much all as far as beauty favorites go, but kind of just random favorites I have is the Pickup Artist. This is one of those quintessential cheesy 1980s movies, and it's Robert Downey Jr. and Molly Ringwald. I like to think I'm Molly Ringwald. Actually, I wish I was Molly Ringwald. I don't like to think I'm her. I just wish I was her. But um, I'm convinced that I'm her reincarnated, even though she's still alive. Don't ask me how that works in my mind, but it does. And yeah, so it's Robert Downey Jr., Molly Ringwald. I digress. And basically, he is a pickup artist. He goes out on the street, tries to pick up girls, finds Molly Ringwald. Oh my gosh, she's the one. And then it's just kind of him chasing her. But it's a really sweet movie. It's stereotypical 1980s movie. I love the 80s. I wish it was the 80s. I secretly live like it is still the 80s. And it's baby RD Jesus with a little gap in his teeth. I mean, you can't really go wrong there. So I would say if you haven't seen it, go out and get it. This is about $3 on Amazon and I got free shipping. I don't know, I don't think this is on Netflix. I don't think you can really get it anywhere, but it's one of those movies where if you could find it, I would say watch and it. My last kind of favorite is my new Iron Man phone case. I saw this little baby on Amazon and I was like, I need him in my life. I remember about Six months ago, I was talking to my friend Keith, and I was like, you know what? I need them to make a little baby Iron Man case. Like, you know how they have the stitch cases or the bunny cases? And I was like, I need them to make one that is Iron Man. And I've been on the hunt, and one day it just came up on my Amazon, things you might like. And I was like, oh, I love it. Thank you, Amazon. So that has been a favorite this well, month. That pretty much wraps up my favorites for the month of January. I promise my February favorites will be up on time in an timely matter within the first few days of the month, if not the very first day. But this is my very first one. I hope that you will enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you check out all of my links in the down bar. They will all be there. Make sure that you rate, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, I will see you on the next video.